they can't acquire a good man and they they proceed to tell you why you can't find a good man and the first thing you want to do is clap back throughout the entire or deal or the conversation which tells you off top that is the problem because you don't want to listen see that may be cute when you're a teenager in your early 20s and once you start getting to your mid 20s and your, and your 30s that kind of plays out because the booty ain't where it should be no more stomach ain't as toned up as it used to be the breasts aren't as perky as they used to be and it is what it is see you can play games when you got that sexual leverage that appeal that sex appeal should I say but once you start getting older you should acquire some wisdom something you can pass back to the next generation of females that are coming up behind you not keep leading them down the same old trap because see when you young and you hot and you got things going your way guess what a lot of women are like a kid in a candy store why would I settle for one piece of candy when I can have every flavor or try every flavor and a lot of sisters, women, indulge in that behavior. And the reason that I say sister, because, man, I'm looking at how they're promoting it, and a lot of sisters are, are, are embracing it. You got your sexy reds, your Sukianas, your Meg the, Stall Meg the Stallion, all of these, these chicks, man. Uh, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, man, that list is crazy, right? And that's what they support. And every time you look up, somebody got their tongue stuck out on Instagram. If I'm a dude, if I'm a, if I'm a decent dude, I'm moving away from that immediately. I may look at it and go, ooh, kind of hot, but not what I want. Because how are you going to build a family with that mindset? See, the, the, the hot boys, as y'all like to call them, guess what? They'll pick that up in a heartbeat. Eat it up. Eat it up. But then after they get through eating, they done with you. Because now you have no leverage. You spoke with the language that they understand. The language they understand is sex. And if that's what you're offering, that's what they're going to take. You should never leave with your sex appeal. I mean, it should get the attention or get you through the door because that's just the way, that's the way human nature is. You're wired to be attracted to the opposite sex just like that. That's, that's, that's what it is. But you shouldn't base that fundamentally on everything. And again, if you don't have the ability to communicate or conversate or talk to a man or listen to a man, then this, now this only applies if you're looking for a man, a good man. And a lot of women aren't. They say that when they get past their prime or when they're no longer able to attract the same kind of guys that they used to, meaning in your 30s your 40s, your 50s. Now, when you're looking at your 60s, that's a wrap. You're never going to be able to attract the kind of dudes you're going to want to attract when you're younger. But if, you, if, you, if you're asking for direction and guidance, why are you talking back and why are you trying to respond? I didn't say they came to you with it. You're coming to them with the questions. And when I say talking back, see, it's going to come and hit you. It's going to hit a lot of women wrong. And if that's you, I'm sorry, say ouch. If the truth hurts, say ouch. But if, if you're trying to attract something long term, I man, you got to learn how to communicate because at some point it becomes about companionship and it should be about companionship to be from the beginning. Let me, for example, if all you keep talking about is you're not going to pay for this and you're not going to pay for that and the man going to pay for this, and the man going to pay for that. But you coming in with a ready made family already. How fair is that if that guy don't have those those issues or even if he does have those issues. Right. But he ain't got no he he has his own money. Maybe he ain't making as much as you, but he's happy. He's spiritually grounded. He ain't out here in the streets. He ain't got no records. Most most men, most black men, don't have any kids anyway. It's just that select few that's knocking everybody up. And when I say that select few, that could be one man. When I say one man, I mean like a military base close by. That could I consider that one man. Or just the guys in your neighborhood. The hot pookies, as they like to call them. The hot Ray Rays. The ravishing Ray Rays. Whatever you want to call it, right? Ask your baby daddy if you got one. 
Don't ask him. Well, ask him how many other baby mamas he got. That's going to start telling you right there. So this dude done populated 21 different females. One dude. And you're a victim of that. Now you got to try to convince the next dude to be with you, especially if he ain't got no kids already. That's a hell of a task. But when you was you was young and sexy, you didn't want that settle down guy. And the guy might have might not have been uh been a bad looking dude. Got his stuff together. I was there. I was at a, a function one time, and I'm not kidding you, man. It was uh three three man it, it, three sisters promoting that 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 whole hopping attitude. That hot girl summer dr trash, right? Man, this girl had a good dude, good young brother. I remember him. Cool as all get up, man. I was like, yeah, girl, you better do your thing. This, this dude care about you. He want to build with you. Now, they're in their early 20s at the time. Man, these three females came up to the young female and told her, girl, don't settle down with just one man. Get out there and have your fun. Don't just settle down with one man. Are you crazy? Enjoy life. Get out there and sample them all. I said, what the hell is this? You got, I mean, think about it. Now, I'm going I'm to call this straight with no chaser. So you got old hoes trying to tell a young girl how to be a new hoe. And if that, if I'm not talking to you, let it go right over your head. Don't, don't let it offend you. Instead of giving that girl good classic advice, they couldn't because they don't understand what that means. And guess what that girl doing right now? Hot girl summer dude heartbroken he moved on but he was hurt by what had transpired in that, in that in that situation in that scenario and um i talked to so many females man they do not know how to communicate with a good dude they don't even know what a good dude look like because they never had to stop and pay attention because everybody coming at them and they're they're using that one superpower, that superpower that they got, that sexy, young, feminine energy. You have to be able to channel that. And then as you get older, you can pass that along and clean up some of this mess. Because they really are trying to do a number on the reputation of a uh, of young black women, whether you like it or not. And you can acknowledge it, you see it. So your job is to push back and not embrace that. I mean, I was talking to one lady, one young, one, one young, one, one woman, and she was just, I was telling her everything, and I was like, Aunt wrong dude, Aunt wrong dude. She was naming off dudes that I just didn't understand. Like, married dudes, Aunt. Dudes that are not in the same city with you that you're in, Aunt. Hard enough trying to figure out what the dude local gonna be like, let alone another city. And it's always about finances. Man, you got to get you a companion in this world because as you get older, ladies, whether you want to understand it or not, accept it as you want. If accept it as you will or won't, you become a soft target, man. And if you don't know what a soft target is, that means somebody's going to be victimized by society in a, in a possibly violent way because you have no cover. There is no man there to protect you. Even if you're older, guess what? Most people ain't running up on you if you got you a man with you. They don't know if that man got that thing on him or not. And that may be the last mistake they ever make. But it's more to a guy than just his purse. Purse meaning money. Or his wallet. Places where he keeps his money. There's more to him than that. Again, if he happy... He got his own thing and ain't asking you for a dime. And y'all laughing about the music y'all used to listen to when y'all were kids. And y'all can talk about cartoons when y'all were kids. And y'all can talk about good foods and what you used to do. and how. Man, if you can talk about that, that's what it's about. That is what it's about. Companionship, man. All this running the street stuff, that get old real, real quick, man. Because dudes know what you about. If you still looking nice or... You single in 35, 40, 50. Dudes know why you why you single. They just want you to, we just want you to tell us. It's gonna be one of three things for me. You either got a bad attitude, bad reputation, or 
You got a bunch of kids. Even if those kids are grown, you can't offer this dude anything if he doesn't have anything. A good dude, mo a good, most good dudes don't have a bunch of kids. They just don't. They don't want that. They want to start their family. They want to start their family from scratch, not somebody else's. And I got to raise this. And only to have that kid tell them later on, you ain't my daddy. Man, give these young girls something to acknowledge and to recognize because what a lot of women don't do is they do not tell these girls how to identify, how to conduct themselves, how to carry themselves. And then they will remove any positive influence of males out of their lives just because they chose badly. They, they almost despise men after they make the piss poor choices. It's your choice. If he didn't take it forcibly, that's you. When a woman tell me he got me pregnant, huh? Huh? So you you weren't involved. You you removed your essence, your spirit from your body while he did whatever he did. Really? Really? Too many dudes that I know wonder where their dads are, but the mom never told. All she says he's no good and he left. Wow. If that's the case, if you have multiple kids, you didn't learn from the first guy? So if this if this dude that got this kid by you and left, and you have multiple baby daddies, what does that say about you as a woman? Man, you gotta be real and hold yourself accountable, man. Anything that I've ever, any chick that's ever hurt me or broken my heart or did me wrong, guess what? That's my fault. I chose her and I put up with it. And I shouldn't have. But I chose her, put up with it, and I didn't move on. And, and, I, and I finally did move on, but I cannot blame anybody for that but me. I got to own that, and I have owned it. That's how you're able to move on. And then I can teach the young dudes coming up behind me, yo, hey, man, you don't want to take this path. I took that path, and bruh, trust me, it can be devastating because we don't get that memo. All we hear is men ain't shit, mature audience here. And what we end up trying to do is make sure that we're not what our moms said our dads were. But as we get older, we realize we've been played, we've had a trick played on us. Because we were always told if you treat her good, treat her good, guess what? She's gonna treat you back good. And worst advice ever. The more you treat the average female good, especially young and coming up, the more she's gonna bump your head. And if you've ever seen the Flintstones, you've seen those knots Fred get on his head when he gets smacked. Yeah, you're gonna get them, and it ain't cool, it ain't cute. So in essence, if you ain't strong, she'll end up turning that good dude into a bad dude. But you learn your lesson. You learn how to pick. And you pass that on. But stop asking men, what should I do? And you got all the answers. What are you trying to prove? Are you trying to hear an answer from a guy that's a decent dude? He gonna tell you something different than what you already doing? What, what, what kind of psychosis is that? He gonna tell you the truth. Stop asking questions if you don't want the answer. And keep doing what you're doing. And as Kevin Samuel said, get yourself a cat, a dog, or a parakeet. Something that'll talk back with to you. That you can be bitter with. Because that bird gonna give you that, that, that. If you get a parakeet, you say, you say man ain't shit. They're gonna turn around and tell you the same thing. Man ain't shit. He gonna tell you what you wanna hear. At least you'll have conversation and communications. But you can't blame this on men. If you want the truth, Listen to men. Do not listen to single women because they're going to keep you single. Don't listen to hoochie mamas out there because they're going to keep you hoochified. You cannot get around it. You got to accept it, man. Rise up. Do better. Teach the next girl. When you see them trying to twerk and they're young, stop them. Tell them that how you conduct yourself. You got these conversations and these arguments with uh, women a lot, man. And I'm telling you, they get so caught up once they get messed up. Once they allow themselves to be messed up, everybody got to get that work. Stay away from them kind of women, man. Yeah, she looking good in her jeans and she smiling. Man, ask yourself why she's single. You, you, gonna, you already know. Let her tell you. And listen to her answer. I guarantee she's going to be talking about it's not her fault. She was misled. Okay. Misled. You're going to have that conversation with your male friends that are good dudes. Listen to them and learn. Learn. Because by the time you get in your 40s, 
the 35s and your 40s and your 50s is pretty much a wrap. Dudes ain't looking for you. They're looking for younger. They ain't got time. Oh, they'll be by themselves. They ain't got time. It's a headache, man. Takes a lot of energy to throw a man off of his path. That guy is trying to achieve some stuff. And he's trying to bring along a good woman with him. I've seen women get a good dude and they act like they, they try to be good for about a week or two after, after a while they start short circuiting like a droid on Star Wars. When they get zapped, I just, it does not compute. I'm like, you know, it's just crazy, man. Do yourself a favor. Learn the lesson. Pass it on. Help the next generation. And please stop asking male friends of yours that are good guys about the truth. You know what the truth is. You know what the answers are. You just think you're smart and you're going to beat the odds. Every now and then, there is the exception to the rule. That's just the exception. It's not the rule. You cannot turn a hoe into a housewife, nor do most good dudes want to turn a hoe into a housewife. Most good dudes won't even, don't. They don't. They don't even look that way. You want a Ray Ray and Pookie in your life? Knock yourself out. Too much work. Life is hard enough as it is. You want somebody agreeable, compatible, and on the same page that you're on. Because remember, ladies, y'all can talk that smack all y'all want. Y'all independent all y'all want. I tell you what, you got that good man, he gonna take that bullet for you. He gonna take that harm for you. There's more to a man than just his pocket and his wallet. Ask yourself a question before I close this out. How many of y'all got a good dude or know a dude that ain't family or blood related that'll take a bullet for you or lay his life down for you? How many? And how many of y'all do the same thing for that guy? If you ain't got somebody like that in your life that's a male, you're doing something terribly wrong. When you know better, show better. Show these young girls how it's supposed to be done. Put your ego in your back pocket. Don't let them fail, man. Stop letting them fail. Your choice. But all we're doing is killing every generation after that and not teaching them anything. Let's teach them.